to him. Come to me, all that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my oath upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Here in this reading. So when I first read the text, I wasn't sure what Jesus meant by this generation, so I looked up a commentary, and the gist of his illustration is the children are street children who cannot agree on what game to play, wedding or funeral. Now, in my personal opinion, I think I would go with wedding, but it's just me. And that's not the point. Society is often divided on everything. You cannot please everyone, and, and sometimes it seems as though you cannot please anyone. Um, it reminds me of the current country hit, Follow Your Arrow by Casey Musgraves. No matter what you do, someone is going to criticize you or disagree with your choices without bothering to understand where you are coming from. I mean, they called Jesus a glutton and a drunkard and said that John the Baptist had, had a demon. If Jesus could not learn the, earn the love of everyone, then we have not one chance in hell of earning it ourselves. How blessed are we, then, that we have a God who does not follow the ways of the world and who loves us and accepts us no matter what we do or how much we might reject him. I do not believe that Jesus meant to be insulting when he said that God has hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and has re revealed them to infants. Rather, we need to have the mindset of infants, unprejudiced and open to loving everyone, rather than perpetuating the society that condemns those who are different from us. In the verse that no one knows the Father except those to whom the Son reveals him is not justification for the church to exclude anyone. Because the reality is that the Son reveals the Father to everyone, whether or not we are ready or want to recognize that he does so. It is not up to us to make those decisions. Rather, our role is to ask God for help in being open to loving and accepting those we may have trouble just by ourselves. There is interesting news in the last part of the Gospel reading for today. Depending on how you look at it, you can take it in a good or a bad way. I am glad we have a God who promises rest for our weary souls. Anytime I think about the injustices of the world without relying on God to provide me with hope, I am instantly tired. There is too much wrong with the world to think we can fix it without help. The yoke in this text refers to the obedience to the Torah. Since I am not Jewish, I tend to think of the yoke and burden of God as being those that of following his will. This is where the burden does not always seem easy or light, and it definitely doesn't promise smooth sailing. First, there is the issue of discerning God's will, and then there is the bigger issue of following what we perceive to be God's will. Why might this come to my mind when reading this text? Well, for me, I suppose it is my current perspective. I am in the middle of a discernment process that appears to be leading me to attend seminary. And this is not exactly where I pictured my life going, nor was I always happy about this direction. And, but I am trying to follow the will of God anyway because of the promised rest and because of the hope that I have in Him. Because there is no way I can face the burdens of the world on my own. And the truth is I'd rather struggle with the yoke and burden that God is asking me to than to try to take on my own burdens alone. So let us find rest for our souls. Amen. Yeah. Yeah.